Hey guys, Ben here. Now, this video is going to be about my thoughts on the Nintendo Switch after the event on the 12th. Now, I'm going to start I'm going to start off by saying I have pre-ordered it because it was enough to sell it to me. But I will say after watching a video from Shokio, that event wasn't exactly the best for a, a new console, especially given Nintendo's predicament right now because of the Wii U, because of the way they treated that system. The Wii U being a good system, but overall they didn't really treat it very well and it just died. But the Switch, it seems like a good system. It seems like they really have good third-party support. But as Shokio mentioned, which I'll link the video in the description, but uh, as Shokio mentioned, um, they really didn't show off a lot. Like, they had third parties up there, and they had the uh, they had a guy from Bethesda actually show off Skyrim for it, which, I mean, it's good this system can run Skyrim, but, I mean, and, in, and it's the uh, new remastered version, but uh, they need, like, newer third-party support. And I know Take-Two, they said something about depending on how many it sells will depend on their support, too, which makes sense. And it's Nintendo's job to sell the system to non-Nintendo fans, such as myself or Shoki or whoever, and to sell the system to people who can't make it to events like up in New York and wherever else they're going to have the event. I can't remember all the places right now, but New York's the most prominent one I can think of. But Nintendo, I mean, Shokyo made a lot of good points. He basically said Nintendo is kind of faltering back on to the, almost the way they treated the Wii U. I kind of want to say they did a little better job. I mean, they definitely showed off games. They definitely made it very clear all the different styles of play. But they didn't show off things like, um, like I'm looking at a Polygon article right now. And I'm seeing a, uh, they didn't show the fact that you can take the back cover off. And that's cool that you can do that, but they should have shown that off. And they should have shown on the uh, at the actual event what the output was like too. Like right now, after seeing people from the New York event, we know it outputs 1080p, which is fine. I'm, I will say that whenever I was watching the event and I and I saw the Mario game come up, I was like, please be a launch title, please be a launch title. And then it came up and said holiday 2017. I was like, mmm, Nintendo, <laughs> come on now. Which on the one hand, I like to see game developers work on games and make sure that they work well before they release them but at the same time Nintendo really cannot mess this up I mean this is possibly their last chance if they can't win over the hardcore the one saving grace from when I was watching the event was the fact that Zelda Breath of the Wild was is gonna be a launch title I was thinking too when they first announced that I was like, there's still a chance they could uh, push that back and make it not not a launch title but then I was like well if March 3rd is the definite announced date then that's like six weeks away maybe six and a half weeks then what are the chances of them actually having something going wrong I mean I know there's a chance because I mean that's in the future still but at least the future from this video there's still a small chance that something could go wrong but maybe not it's March 3rd they seem to be pretty confident I just hope it works out there's they're apparently selling out of pre-orders which I'm not sure how you can sell out of a pre-order because I thought a pre-order for hardware was to let companies know that are selling that how many they need to order from Nintendo but apparently they're selling out of pre-orders so maybe that's a good thing I don't know how many pre-orders they had but I mean maybe that's a good thing and people can still cancel pre-orders so I mean at least if you order from Amazon but I don't know <laughs> to be honest so just had to wait and see really I mean only the future can tell so but Nintendo needs to really amp it up they were able to save the 3ds because the 3ds was faltering they weren't able to do it to the wii u but and pokemon has something to do with that so i feel as though if they can just get if they can get through the launch and they can actually make the deadlines for all these games that are going to be coming out on the system and if they can sell a decent amount of units and maybe get some third-party support they'll be fine thanks for watching this video and uh, let me know what you think in the comments below and make sure you subscribe because I will be putting out more videos as I get my hands on the Switch, which I have pre-ordered one. So whenever I do get mine, I'm going to be making more videos on that. And uh, just subscribe if you want to see that and like the video if you like the video or dislike it if you disliked it. And right there you can watch some more uh, or you can watch a video that is 
similar to this one. So, thanks for watching the video, guys, and uh, y'all have a great day, and we'll just see what happens in the future.